How to create a sequence for email automation? Hello there! Are you juggling between different sets of automation, especially emails? Relax, SalesMate has an amazing feature of sequences that can lower your burden without a hitch. We'll be sharing a great insight about how you can create an email sequence with SalesMate CRM. Basically, sequence can be a progression of emails sent to the target audience based on predefined time intervals. This function can be automated based on triggers. The set of functions includes emails, texts, activities, or it could be a combination of all three. You can create sequences for customer follow-up, lead nurturing, customer engagement, prospect conversion, onboarding, renewal, and a lot more as per your business requirement. Now, let us understand the sequencing mechanism in SalesMate CRM. The first step is to manage the general settings of sequences. For this, you need to navigate to your profile icon, followed by Setup. Simply scroll down to Sequences under Sales Automation. Here, you can select your choice of sequence settings, like the General Settings, Safety Settings, Out of Office Settings, and the Settings for Exit Criteria. You can also assign tags, so that it becomes easy for you to differentiate the records in the near future. Once you are done, we can now proceed with creating a new sequence. We recommend you to watch our video link for General Settings of Sequence in SalesMate CRM attached in the comments section below. With Sequence, you can use your own custom composed emails or select any predefined templates stored into your system. We recommend you to create email templates specific to sequences before you start building up your sequence. Let's take a quick trip to creating templates. You may create it from the More Icon email templates followed by Plus New Template. You can use the Edit panel to customize your previous emails by clicking on the template title. You can plan a welcome email saying thank you for signing up, and you can share the basic know-how about how the organization works. To learn more about adding email templates and personalizing signature, please refer to the video link in the comments section below. How about creating a lead conversion sequence? Seems very essential, right? Click on the More Action icon followed by Sequences. Now click on the Create Sequence button. You can simply write down the relevant sequence title, let's say it be Lead Conversion. That is, you are creating a sequence for your prospect who subscribes to your email service. As you click on Add Stage icon, you will get different types of stages that you can choose from. You can either choose Manual or Auto Email, Activity as Action, or Reminder, or select Manual or Auto Text. Here, if you select Manual Email, it will allow you to verify and personalize each email before sending out. When a manual email stage is added to the sequence, then an email gets generated in draft mode and it appears inside the sequence's scheduled screen. Please note that the sequence will not run until the email is sent manually. Let us select auto email for the current campaign. Checking the email tracking and click will be helpful to you in knowing the interest of the customers. It'll show you the delivered, open, and click rates of the email. Add Signature lets your custom signature make the email more personalized for your customers. Once minute detailing is done, you can click on Save and your stage one of the sequence is done. You can now select the execution time of the stage. This is how you can create a good repo with the clientele. This becomes your stage one of the sequence. This seems easy, right? Now, let us move ahead and plan Stage 2 for your prospects, guiding about your product usage and features. Click on Add Stage icon and select Auto Email or Manual Email. This email could be set after a day or two of the first stage. You can plan a second email to be landed in your prospect's inbox regarding tips and tricks, where you can send the prospect product walkthrough video links, presentations, tutorials, etc. This will make it easier for them to get a quick glance of the product and can work as an upselling strategy. You can now select the wait days, which means the action of stage two will be triggered after exactly days selected, or you can select scheduled days, which will trigger the action as per the scheduled days, ignoring the weekends. Once this is selected, you can select the execution time of the next stage. Seems like a perfect plan, right? Now, just before the trial expiration day, you can plan stage three of the sequence. Add a new stage from Add Stage icon and select Auto Email or Manual Email. This could be Trial About to Expire Email, which would just inform the customer about trial expiration. Here, you can persuade the customer to move towards your paid plans and accept the offerings. 
This becomes a gentle note for the prospects and will sound that you care for your prospects. Of course, who wouldn't adore such an email? Then comes the stage for the final call from your end. Stage four could be about informing the customers that their product or service evaluation has come to an end. Add a new stage from Add Stage icon and select Auto Email or Manual Email. This stage could be planned on the day before trial expires. Subject of the sequence could be Trial Expiration, where you notify the customers about the free trial limit being reached. Here you can take their final call for staying with your product journey by purchasing the plan. Once the trial is expired, taking feedback would be a good idea, right? You can add a new stage with the subject line being Feedback Stage, where you can always gather experience from the customers. This becomes your Stage 5 of the sequence. This could be for both the customer groups who stayed with you by purchasing the plan or have discontinued using your product. You may be surprised, why both groups? Well, getting feedback from discontinued customers is logical. But if you gather feedback from the new customers who just purchased the plan, they'll definitely have suggestions that can help you enhancing the features of the product and retain them by creating a new sequence about announcing new features. Seems like a smart move, yeah? Once all the stages are planned, and if you would like the sequence of emails being sent, you can use the up and down arrow key to change the flow of the emails, or click on the edit icon to make any tweaks in the content of the email. Before saving the sequence or pushing it live, please make sure you have the desired setting over here. You will find all the settings from here. You can select the ownership of the sequence. The general settings are replicated from the setup section of sequence settings and can be updated as per the current sequence requirement. You may note that the throttle limit or add single contact to multiple sequences settings can be only updated from setup. As soon as you are through with the changes, click on save if you want to execute the sequence in the future or simply push live for immediate move. As the sequence is set, you can now enroll the contacts to the sequence. Navigate to the contacts module. You can enroll the contacts from contact preview and the detail page followed by the actions dropdown menu and the same steps can be followed when you are using SalesMate via our Chrome extension. You can enroll contacts in bulk from the list screen. Select the contacts and simply click on the Enroll to Sequence button from the bulk operations above. Select the sequence under which you would like to enroll the contacts. Now select the From Email address and the sequence stage from where you would like the prospects to receive the email. Define the execution time, which is immediate or scheduled. You can click on Start Sequence if you are good with the settings, or click on Personalize if you would like to make any changes to the current sequence. We're now all set to push the sequence live for lead conversion sequence. That's it! This is how you can create your own sequence with SalesMate and automate emails without any intervention, which can help you in sustaining your existing customers and make them more receptive. Enjoy using SalesMate and shoulder up your responsibilities, saving you countless hours. Subscribe to the SalesMate YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on our new features, releases, and insightful videos.